Hi guys, it's Blakey for Shaman's Forge Bushcraft. Okay, in the Percussion Revolver series, I recently had a video I put up that was called Test Fire. Somehow in the upload or whatever, that video got corrupted and I had to take it down and get rid of it. I didn't save the, I usually save all my raw footage, but in that case, I did not. So, for those of you that did not see it, let me just bring you up to date. After you've taken the percussion revolver apart, and you've deburred it, smoothed up, found if there's any mechanical problem that needs to be addressed now, and you go to test fire it for the very first time. What you want to do is you want to take the gun out, you want to do it a close range, say 10 yards, something like that. You want to put up a nice big target like a paper plate, put a very distinct aiming point. Now, I like a sort of like an upside down chevron, a point and then a squarish part at the top. But think like a chevron, that'll give you an idea. And that gives me a very clean aiming point with those sights. Now, I will then test fire the gun very slowly, very cleanly. Don't get in a hurry. You don't want the barrel to get hot, so don't burn through eight or nine cylinders in a hurry. The barrel gets hot, it starts moving point of aim. This will show you where your point of impact is and whether we have a mechanical problem. For example, if I'm aiming dead at my target and I'm suddenly hitting a foot and a half left and two feet high at only 10 yards, there's a problem. Usually the crown of the muzzle is not square to the bore axis when they're finishing the gun, they're using these big powerful buffing wheels to polish it. Someone got a little overzealous by hand and the end of the barrel is not truly 90 degrees to the bore. Check that with a T-square and it will show you if it's beveled. If it is, take a file and make it nice and smooth so that it's even. That will probably correct. Also, at the on a Colt firearms, what we're talking about here, where the barrel joins the frame on the bottom, that can be putting torque into it. Notice by putting it together and holding it up in a strong light, is it even or is one side higher than the other? If it is, kind of sand that off so it's flush mount. That would normally correct a severely high, low, left, right. Okay, It's where it's actually bending the, the, the center point. After you've got that, this will give you a good idea of the potential of the gun. Then we start doing load development. We do not sight the gun. We do not make any adjustments to the sight other than maybe opening the notch up enough where we can see it until after we have taken the gun and test fired it for the first time to see if there's a mechanical problem. I'm sorry for the video loss, guys. I had put it up and... Uh, it had a kind of funny moment in there where I had shot, and I had shot six rounds, and when I went to count my target, there were seven holes in it. It kind of confused me for a moment until I finally realized what was happening was I was so close. One of those wonder wads was actually hitting and tore the paper, and I initially thought it was a bullet hole, and it was not. It was there in the group, but it was not actually it. So, sorry for the loss, guys. It, Somehow in the upload, my version had good sound, and when I initially uploaded it, it had good sound, but something in the processing, it lost the soundtrack, and I apologize for that. Uh, in the future, if I lose sound on another one, I will have my original where I can re-edit it and repost it. Uh, thank you again, guys, for all your comments. Thank you for support on this series. And if there's anything further you'd like me to go into, please leave it in the comments. I'll be glad to do it. I'm Blackie for Shaman's Forge Bushcraft, wishing you safe journeys. Have a great day, guys.